Hello, in this lesson we will learn to solve problems of mass balance in a steady state without chemical reaction. The general equation of, of the mass balance is input minus output plus production minus consumption equals accumulation. If there is no chemical reaction, then production and consumption are zero. And our equation reduces to input minus output equals accumulation. Now, the term accumulation is represented, representing the change of the mass inside our system in a certain period of time. If that period of time is very, very small, almost zero, then accumulation is the change of the mass in our system in a differential of time. Now, what we have to do now is find uh, an equation that relates the amount of mass inside of our system with time. And uh, what we are going to do is first relate the mass inside our system with the volume and the density and concentration of our system. We have several cases that are shown in table one. Table one is intended for liquids. Liquids have a constant density. If we want to find the total mass inside of our system, first we have to know the borders of our system and if we, if we know them, then we know the volume of it. The mass inside our system is, will be the density of the solution times the volume inside our borders. Now, since density is a constant, then a uh, differential of mass with time will be the density times the derivative of the volume with time. If what we want to know is the mass of a certain substance I, when we know the concentration inside our system, then the mass of I will be the concentration of I times the volume. In a system with a constant volume, then the derivative of the mass of I with time will be the volume of our system times the derivative of the concentration of I with time. And if what we know is the mass composition of our substance, then the mass of our substance I will be its mass composition times the density of the solution times the volume of our system. And the deriva derivative, when the mass and density are constant, I'm sorry, when the volume and density are constant will be the derivative of the mass of I with time is equal to the density of our solution times the volume times the derivative of the mass composition of I with time. In the next video, we will calculate the total mass inside inside of a system.